Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I am making my living room cozy and vibey for fall. That means tons of texture, tons of cozy vibes, tons of candles. I'm so excited to be partnering with Indigo who is sponsoring this video and using products from their exclusive line called We, which just launched in stores. It's beautiful, I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you guys don't know what Indigo is, it is um, basically a huge bookstore, but they also have so many beautiful home goods. Um, they even have like style pieces, lots of artwork. It's just one of my most favorite places to shop um, for both books and decor. Indigo is a dream brand to be working with. I'm really excited, so let's get started. We is my dream decor brand because it is filled with so many joyful patterns and textures that can all be mixed and matched. So I'm gonna throw it back to a clip I did of me planning how I want this living room to look using the We products. You guys know I love using mood boards, so I wanted to kind of take you through this process and show you how I came up with this really eclectic look that we're going for. You guys know I love mixing bold patterns, textures, and color, and this is the perfect line to create that vibe in your home. The line is inspired by modern art and the natural world and the colors found in it, and its affordability paired with functionality and beautiful aesthetic is really why I love it so much. So you guys can see I'm doing so many different combinations in this mood board. I love the selection of the Wii brand and how they make it so easy to have a cohesive yet eclectic look. So there's no running around to big decor stores trying to match cushions. We has done the hard work for you. They also have all the styling pieces like vases, bowls, as well as storage and organizing solutions and beautiful tabletop and serveware. I know you guys probably are loving all of the products you are seeing so far, so don't worry, all of them are linked down below in the description box. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. It is my goal to reach 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Can we make that happen? I feel like we can. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. There are so many of you that come back week after week, but don't hit the button. So just do it. Just hit it. Subscribe. We have so much amazing, fun content coming at you. So now it's time to actually do the fun part. Let's style this living room. Okay, so this is what my living room is looking like now. It's not bad, it looks fine, but I think that fall is such a great time to change things up. And if you're anything like me, which I know you guys are, you love decor and you love restyling things. So I find that fall and summer for me are like my ideal times to give a space a good refresh and add new life to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of the living room. This is my tried and true tip. You wanna start with a blank slate so that you can really have fun like starting fresh and really seeing how everything is gonna to come together. Okay, so now that you've cleared everything out of your living room and you have a blank slate, my first tip is to change your cushions. Now, I feel like you guys have probably heard this a million times, when there's a new season, you know, the easiest way to update your space or to make it feel a bit different is to change the cushions, but I feel like a lot of people don't know how or don't know where to start. So my main tip for a couch that looks eclectic and boho, but still really styled and intentional, is to mix together a bunch of cushions in the same color palette. So these can be all different cushions, um, but you wanna make sure you're picking them in the same color or group of colors. Literally just lay them out on the floor like I'm doing and just have fun with it and mix and match until you get the right combination. We are going with browns, blues, and reds for fall, which I'm really excited about. Yes? Sorry, Harriet's just wanting to say hi to the camera. I don't usually use browns or red tones in my um, apartment, but I'm really excited. And I feel like fall is the time when you hunker down and you use those warm colors that you wouldn't use in the summer. 
So my general rule of thumb, depending on the size of your couch, is to go with three kind of neutral basic cushions um, and then layering in cushions with pattern in the same color palette as those neutral tones. You can do as many as you want, as little as you want, um, but as long as they all kind of work cohesively together in terms of the color palette, you've got it. So this to me counts as a solid, um, as a solid like base cushion. And you don't have to go with something boring. I would actually encourage you to get ones with lots of texture if you wanna go for that eclectic look. But you'll notice that they're in the same kind of color family. So I think I'm gonna put this one here. My other solid, again, like lots of texture. Maybe put that here. Um, maybe a lighter tone, like it's looking a bit dark. So let's add in this one. And then this is where you have fun with all your patterns. Pretty good for a first try. Okay, no, this is ridiculous. It looks like way too full. Like you can't even sit down. It's like, no. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some out. So when it comes to styling your coffee table, I'm sure you've heard the tip of use a tray to corral things, but I would challenge you to instead use a beautiful bowl, and I'm gonna tell you why. But first, you want to make sure you have lots of layers. So I'm just putting a magazine down, again, same, same color tone as the rest of the room, placing the bowl on top, and then I'm gonna put my remote in this. So what I love about a bowl rather than a tray is that you aren't gonna see the remote. So all of those like techie things you have, just pop them in a bowl like this, and then keeping it really simple, just finishing it off with some decorative beads. How cute. I love it. So the key to styling a bench or a credenza like this one is to add lots of height and add lots of layers. So before when we were styling the coffee table and I was saying maybe don't use a tray, here a tray is gonna be perfect because I'm going to kind of group things. So I always have my diffuser going, like all the time. Um, and sometimes I keep the oils by the side and it looks kind of messy. So to make it look more intentional, I'm putting this beautiful tray in this like deep terracotta color. Again, pulling out the colors from the cushions, the chair, it's like very fall, fall vibes. So I'm placing this down here. I'm gonna place my diffuser on top. And that way I can put the oils here and it looks like it's supposed to be here, but it also looks beautiful because you have a beautiful tray and like layers. So yeah, that's step one. And then you guys can just watch me style this. I might take things out, put things back in, but that is normal. That's key here. You just wanna keep mixing and matching until you get the right combo. Things to decorate your credenza or your bench with, barware or like alcohol, again on a tray, coffee table books stacked vertically, art prints, lots of candles and plants. Just a few, few ideas. Also tip, if you have a diffuser and you use it all the time like I do, get a jug, this beautiful jug, um, or like a watering can and place it beside your diffuser and always have it filled with water. So that way you don't have to like keep going back and forth. So again, like look at all the heights that are going on here.
So now it's time to add those kind of like final touches. And one thing I love is obviously layering in flowers or greenery to your space. Now I've picked a flower that has like a more fall color to it. It's orange mixed with this beautiful off-white yellowy tone. Another tip that I have that's way more affordable is putting eucalyptus or pompous grass in a vase. This stuff lasts forever. I love the way eucalyptus dries and it looks more like seasonally appropriate, but for the purpose of this video, I thought I would treat myself to a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Don't be afraid to go with a really large vase, even if you have a small table. You'll see that just like decoratively and sculpturally, it looks so beautiful and has such an impact. Right when you walk in, it's like, whoa, beautiful vase on the table. And it just looks like instantly styled, like you just know what you're doing. Also, don't be afraid to buy beautiful vases that have nothing in them. So I'm just placing this one on this little shelf, nothing in it, but it still looks like a beautiful sculptural piece. The last thing you wanna to do to bring that fall cozy vibe into your home is to layer in tons of throw blankets. Again, layering in textured neutrals with more patterned kind of bold pieces. So I have this mustard yellow throw from We. It is so soft. It's just being draped over this ladder. And then my pom-pom blanket, one of my most prized possessions when I took a trip to Morocco, it's just going on the back of this chair. Okay, and that's it, that's the styling done. So it's time to turn the cozy vibes up 10 notches in this space. Let's take a look at what this space looked like before. Very summery, pretty neutral. You guys have seen this living room time and time again. And now let's take a look at the fall version of this living room. And there you have it, really easy ways to transition your decor from summer to fall. I really hope that you learned something about mixing and matching bold patterns and like adding lots of layers and textures to your space. And what a difference just a few accessories can make. They always just like bring a space together and make it feel really styled and beautiful. Make sure you check out the full Wii line in the description box below. Thank you so much to Indigo for sponsoring this video and for all this beautiful decor. This was such a fun one. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.